Welcome inside the Rose Hill Gym for our Atlantic 10 Women's Basketball Preseason Preview. Jackson Heil here with Florida Women's Basketball Head Coach Stephanie Gately. Coach, great to be with you. Great to see you, Jackson. I love the haircut. Thank you, thank you. It's been a while, but let's get right to it. So, Coach, obviously, just a few weeks ago, it's finally announced that you will have officially a college basketball season. What's your reaction to that? Super excited. I mean, I think the best thing about that is we're going to play again. It's just the season ended in such an odd way with for everyone, obviously not just us, you know. And so once we got the news and the NCAA came out with the date of, you know, November 25th, I think all the juices for everyone started flowing. And, and then there was obviously the despair went to hope. So exciting for us. Coach, got to close a chapter. The Brie Kavanaugh era is officially over in the Bronx. He announces that the transition to a transgender male. What does the Brie Kavanaugh era mean to Fordham University, and what does the impact of that have on you as well? Well, Brie Kavanaugh era was a fantastic era. I mean, he did amazing things for us, and you know, was one of the hardest workers I've ever coached. Obviously, one of the best players I've coached. Uh, super talented, and left his mark on the program without a doubt. Helped us to a championship and, and to many memorable seasons. So, um, as a person. Loved his fun-loving ways, you know, happy heart and wanting to help others. I, mean, I saw that in so many ways, especially the way he dealt with like little kids. And I just wish him nothing but the best. I think he's got a great future ahead of him, and and we thank him for everything he's done. Certainly does. And transitioning now to this year, obviously an unprecedented preseason for sure. Who and what has stuck out to you, and now what's over just the first month of practices? I think what's exciting is, you know, I think the person that's jumped out the most to me has probably been Anna the Wolf. I think with Anna, you know, she came in as a high school player, you know, a little bit weak, you know, because of being, you know, just the kind of, that's a, you know, a tough kid, but just, again, just the typical thing for high school kids, they don't come in with, you know, much, much background with weights and stuff like that. So she really worked hard with Josh this summer, our strength and conditioning coach, to really not and they don't buck up at all but just get stronger and she's come in not only you know showing it in her game but also in her leadership skills I, mean, I think Kendall Haramaya I think she's she's ready for having a great year and seeing a lot of great promise from the young kids so I'm excited because there's a lot of super things happening on court. Speaking of leadership someone who's going to take even more of an advanced role this year is junior Caitlin Downey what has it been like watching her grow over these first two plus years and now taking really that sole responsibility of the top leader on the team? I think Caitlin just loves the challenge. I think she loves the challenge of being a leader and I think she does a fantastic job with it. I think the kids follow her lead, so we're gonna need it. She's a junior now and I think the year of experience of being one of the leaders last year will definitely come into play now. Coach, obviously it's gonna be a much different at a conference type schedule this year. You have some confirmed dates at Northeastern, which is always a tough game amongst a few others against Quinnipiac, and including you get a rematch with Coach Ange. Not a rematch, but first yeah. time you get to see her. Right. What is this out-of-conference slate going to be like, and how much more of an emphasis is there going to be on the A-10 schedule this year now that there's so many geographical limitations to that? I mean, the 2020-2021 season is so different from, from so many others. I mean, typically, you have your schedule in the books, and you're ready to go, and you know, right now, we could go to 18 conference games. We're at 16, and we're in talks, you know, to try to play Satan Hall and Syracuse along with, you know, you know, Ange and teams of that sort. So, still hasn't been put together. We're still waiting to do it. But as you know, things change day by day. But as always with our program, we're going to challenge ourselves against the best so that we get ready for conference play. Coach, finish this last question for me and finish the sentence. Fordham will win the Atlantic 10 this year if what? If we all decide to put our egos aside and put the we before the me, which I have no doubt this team will do. Once again, Jackson Heil, head coach Stephanie Gately. Coach, great to talk to you and best of luck this season. Go Rams. What's up guys? Welcome to our 2020-2021 Atlantic 10 women's basketball preseason preview. I'm your host, Jackson Heil, also a member of Scout Squad and joined by junior captain Caitlin Downey. Sophomore guard, Anna DeWolf, guys, been a while. Pleasure to see you all. How's everything going? Going great. We're excited to be back on campus, full on out, and uh, we're excited to see what the season looks like. Anna, how's everything? Been great. <laughs> well, anyways, we got a game of RAM 
it goes just like pig or horse, whatever you like to call it, and let's get right yeah. to it. So once again, we're playing RAM, works like horse, you get three letters, R-A-M, first one to get R-A-M loses, and we're here, we're going to take about a eh, 16 foot mid-range shot, but before we do that, Anna, obviously an unprecedented first month of the season for you guys. What's it been like? How's life on school? And how's life in basketball as well? Um, it's been great. Obviously a lot of different changes. Um, but on the court, we've been getting after it. We start full court practices today. Um, it's been really competitive in practice. A lot of energy. Everyone's excited to be back. Awesome and great to hear. So let's get this game started and you're going to take the first shot. Let's see if you can knock down this J. Air ball. Well, that just describes me shooting a mid-range jumper right now. So I got R. Now Caitlin joins us, and we'll be taking a shot from the free throw line. Caitlin, before we go ahead and do this, obviously more of a leadership role for you this year. You are the team's lone captain right now. What's that challenge been like so far, obviously, in very unprecedented times in this preseason? Yeah, it's definitely just trying to have a positive mindset at all times. We have five new freshmen on the team that we're looking to get into the swing of things quickly. I mean, no one can practice this or adapt to this swiftly, so we're just trying to trying to lead the best I can right now and just show the girls how, how what it takes to win. Obviously crazy times, and we'll see if we can convert from the free throw line in these crazy times. <laughs> I will shoot first. Cash, so Caitlin won the best. That's a letter. I got R, she's got R. All right, we're on the baseline now. I'm trying to give Anna her first letter. But again, we're at a mid-range J, so that's unlikely. But before we get to that, Anna, all-rookie team last year in your first year, expected to take even more of an advanced role now in the offense. How exciting is that challenge for you going forward? Um, definitely exciting. Um, I love playing with my teammates. They always find the open player, whoever is on fire gets the ball. Um, Especially passing the ball around, um, super excited, yeah. So it should be fun, obviously excited to watch you play this year, and I'm not excited to take this jumper, but let's go about it. You go first. Ooh. I'm in trouble again. Hey. Clank, once again, all right for me. All right, now we're finally in my range a little bit, which is behind the three-point line, and Caitlin now trying to deliver the crushing blow to me here. But <laughs> before we get into that, you got a new blog. Yes. You're one of us now, technically <laughs> being on camera. Keeks and E, which is with Edona, um, mm -hmm. for T on Eddie's. Yes. What's that been like, and where did the idea come from? Adona and I were thinking about it um, this past summer. We thought we want a better way to communicate what the student athlete life is like to the general students at Fordham. And we wanted to make it a fun way of just giving more information about what some of the athletes go through day to day, what are their skills and hobbies, and then make it kind of like a 94 feet with Jay Billis, but bring it on to Eddie's and make it specialize the Fordham. Where can we find it? On the Herd Instagram account, the Herd RH. Um, we're getting a follow following pretty quickly now. Awesome, man. So make sure to tune into that. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if you can put me away. Obviously, in the same spot where you hit Perfect. maybe the biggest shot of your career. <laughs> Before you take it, yes. Take us through that moment. So I was very nervous. I the original play, we were trying to get Bree open on that last shot, and luckily I fell behind. The defense fell asleep a little bit inside the. Um, three-point line, so I'm like, let me step back, let me get some space if the defense is floating in. Got the ball, just just prayed a little bit, and uh, let it go. It felt good, honestly, going through, so I was really, really happy when it went down in the net. Well, let's see if you can replicate it here and put let's me see. away. <laughs> well, I'm looking here, this is a lot deeper than I was expecting, and now I'm in real trouble, so let's see. Flank. Again, I'm finished. That's game. Well, I'm a loser, shockingly. Um, these two took me down in very convincing fashion. So, good game, guys. Before we let you go, just a few more questions. We'll start with Anna. Obviously, a lot of newcomers this year. Five new freshmen getting worked into the fold. What's it been like watching them this first month? And what's your biggest advice to them, especially after going through that grind last year? Um, honestly, I think they're doing an amazing job. Um, they came in well-conditioned. Um, uh, 
I live with three of them, so I've gotten wow. to know them really well. Um, we're bonding great. Uh, they're fitting in with the team. Um, and my biggest piece of advice I would say is obviously hang in there. Um, try to enjoy every moment because it goes by quickly and work hard. So, yeah. A lot of new faces in the fold and obviously a difficult Atlantic 10 as always, Caitlin. Finish this sentence for me. Fordham will win the Atlantic 10 this year if what happens? If we hold our attack mindset, I think it's a really unprecedented time where we don't know exactly when things are going to unfold and how they're going to unfold. So we're always just going to be ready, challenge each other every day in practice. College hoop season begins November 25th and excited to see how this Fordham Rams team will fare. Once again, Caitlin Downey, Canada DeWolf, I'm Jackson Heil. It's been a pleasure, guys.